Hello everybody, Bolt Matrix here, and I hope you're having an excellent 2019 so far. We're on day 14 of this brand new year, so I thought I'd update you about what's going on with me, the channel, and all the other stuff coming up. So first off, Wednesdays are no longer going to be normal video reviews, unless I've got like a ton of figures that I need to get through and get them up as soon as possible. Mostly Wednesdays are going to be fun little experiments or me doing things differently. Specifically, you've already seen the Transformer Siege all-in-one review, minus the leaders, and then the Battle Strike Team videos. Spattle tri spattle, bleh, Battle Strike Team Space Deleter and Rescue Engine. Rescue Engine is actually going to be coming up very shortly. So, why am I doing this? Uh, quite simply because I need to diversify. I need to do some other things and get some more views on the channel. 2018 was my worst year in terms of views and revenue. And if you hear something kind of like a dragon in the background, that is my heat kicking in. It is currently a whopping 28 degrees Fahrenheit right now. That's outside. It just snowed yesterday. So diversification, that sort of thing. You're going to see me doing some other things coming to the channel. I'm going to be trying to maybe do some let's plays of just fun games that I like to do. Not the AAA stuff, because quite frankly, I just don't have the time for AAA. Uh, the indie stuff is a lot easier on me in terms of time, and my time is limited. I'm in a car three hours a day. On top of that, I'm going to be doing experiments like you are seeing right now. I actually have an Elgato green screen that I'm standing in front of with a ring light, and that's what my camera is attached to. So I'm going to be trying different things, different stuff, different techniques, and no, I'm not copying Jobby at all. So yeah, Wednesday's going to be fun, going to be experiments. Might not always be an experiment, depends on how much time I've got. And something else, I really need to improve the quality of my videos because people are just dropping off because I have a bad reputation of being inaccurate to say the least, and I contradict myself consistently because I talk in circles. That's just the way I am. I just did that a few minutes ago as well, so there's that. Also, also I'd like to do some vlogs again. There are some things that I'd like to talk about, things that are going on in different fandoms, Power Ranger stuff, Transformers stuff, Gundam stuff. CES was just last week at the time of this recording, at CES 2019 that is, and there wasn't anything really to talk about other than everybody stealing your data to make money off of you. All right, enough of that with the channel. What do we got coming up for you guys? Well, I've got a couple of reviews and I got a big old pile of figures right here. First up is this little Funko Pop of Lord Draken. This is the first Funko Pop I've ever bought, and it's going to be the only Funko Pop I've ever bought, or ever will buy, probably. That review is coming soon. Then I'm getting into Shinkalion. I'm only picking up this guy. And the regular Shinkalion, Shinkalion, because they do combine. So giant train combining things. Uh, plus my son really likes trains. So I figure I'll get these, I'll review them, and then I'll let him play with them. Next up, more Diaclone. I've got this guy, and I've got the original Diaclone figure set that I've never reviewed. So both of those are going to get pulled out and played with and reviewed, hopefully in the next few weeks. And a set that I've been looking forward to is this new Iron or Iron Factory set. It's War Giant in the Ruination color scheme. I picked Ruination because, quite frankly, I like the Ruination color scheme. And I really wanted this set to be in that color scheme. And now for some Transformers stuff on loan, I've got Voyager Bone Crusher and Voyager New Voyager Optimus Prime. Uh, these figures are unopened, and my good friend at Chrome Tyranno over on Twitter is letting me borrow these. He actually sold me the Ultra Magnus and the Shockwave that you've already seen me review. So I'm also going to be doing uh, a Wednesday video of those guys with a little bit of tweaking. Some fun stuff is going to happen there. And, and on the heels of those Voyagers, we've got Leader Class Jetfire and Leader Class Megatron. So these guys are going to be coming hopefully this week, as long as I can get some time alone to record the videos without um, having to deal with a four-year-old. So yeah, those two I'm going to be opening up shortly after I record this to start fiddling with them and plan out those reviews. And lastly, and probably the two figures that I've been looking forward to getting a hold of 
are these guys from Tobot. We've got Bull and Troll, I think. These guys are big, they were expensive, and they combine, and I can't wait. And aw, they even put a little sticker up here. Thank you for your purchase. Have a happy day. Happy New Year from Dio. Dio? Son of a bitch! So everybody, that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of weeks. Got a bunch of figures for you. Got a bunch of content coming your way. Hopefully gonna be starting on some video game stuff. And the main reason I got the green screen, which is behind me, was so I could do the video game stuff and have my ugly mug down in the corner without, you know, without me, <laughs> you know, just getting in the way of the, of the actual content. So let me know what you think down in the comments. One other thing I do want to mention is my backdrop that I have been using for the last yearish or so already needs replaced. I'm looking at it. It's right off camera over here. I'm going to figure out what to do there. Originally, I was going to do something that was gray or just another single color or solid color again. But the thing that I really liked about the fabric backdrop that I was using for years was that it broke up the... There wasn't a uniformity to the backdrop so that figures of all different shapes and types worked well on that backdrop. The gray has been good, it's been flat, but that's the problem. It's been flat. It has not been dynamic in any way. If you look at Jobby or Thu or Emgo or even other some of the other reviewers who aren't using a white backdrop, it's much more dynamic and it gives you a much better sense of depth and size of the figure. So I'm going to be experimenting with some things. Gray backdrop is just not holding up. It's scuffed, it's scarred, it's scratched. It's much like my weathered face with life, the universe, and everything. It's just not holding up the way I expected it to for how much I freaking paid for it. So I'm going to be figuring something up there. If you've got any suggestions or if you are a video person yourself, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to smack that like button and be sure to hammer that subscribe button and be sure to do naughty things to that bell so you know when a new video is up. I'm Bolt Matrix, and I'll catch you next time. And good Lord, do I need a haircut. Yeesh.